Good evening, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a full case of 2018-19 Panini Contenders basketball. This is 12 box pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into it. There it is on the 29th. Pick your team three. TC with the double last bod mojo gets the Clippers and the Jazz in this one. So good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. TC also had a personal box just before this break. Got some nice stuff out of there. So maybe that luck will continue in this one. Good luck to TC. Good luck, everybody. A lot of great stuff in here. The rookies are pretty strong in basketball this year, just like they were last year. I believe they should be pretty strong next year, too. That's a mess. Look at all this. All right, so you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Right there. There we go. Got it. Box number one, the two autographs. Yeah, two autographs per box, plus some parallels. Um, there's been some nice legendary contenders in this stuff. So we've seen some nice old school names pop out of here too, which is pretty cool. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. No veteran commons will ship. No veteran base. No vet base. But obviously all rookie cards, all inserts, vet inserts as well. Parallels, numbered cards, obviously. Autographs, obviously. Those will all ship. Some hoops picks tonight. I wonder if I'm a am I a winner or am I a loser tonight? We'll find out after this box. Stay tuned. Alright, so we'll breeze through these. And our first autograph is for the Mavs. It's Costas onto the compo. That's Giannis's brother. Is he is he gonna be as good as Giannis? I don't know. That goes to the Dallas Mavericks, Andrew Hodge with the Mavs. So stuff like this will ship, of course. And that, of course, will be sleeved and top loaded before it goes out. In fact, just in the interest of time, we're just gonna set that aside. And we've got legendary contenders. See what I mean? Nine out of 25, Larry Bird. Legendary contenders auto for Patrick K and the Celtics. Nice. Oppo Joe Mojo, my longtime rivals, but still a nice hit. And a cracked ice, Tony Parker, 25 out of 25. And D'Angelo Russell to 99. Yeah, even Marty knows who Larry Bird is. And there you go, nice box number one. Hi, Rusty. Uh, probably not. Probably not. A 
reason for not sending vet base is is, is mostly for uh, to be able to ship hits faster. And when a lot of breaks are to pile up, every every kind of day counts. So I don't think, you know, Patrick K doesn't want his Larry Bird to be stuck around here for another like two or three days just because we had to ship everything out of contenders. And we don't want to start char charging shipping costs for that and then if uh, these people do and these people don't, you know, then it be then it becomes kind of it almost takes more even more time at that point. It's like, "All right, well this guy paid 5 bucks for the extra shipping, that guy didn't." So that takes even more time to sort out a break, to sort between the ones who got the extra stuff and didn't get the extra stuff. So it's, it's like we had to do either one or the other. Now some breaks we do, sometimes we do, uh, I mean, most breaks, everything ships. Most breaks that aren't this base heavy. Legendary contenders, another legend, BJ Armstrong, 61 out of 199. Mar Marty, you got to remember this guy. BJ Armstrong, Bulls. That goes to EA. EA definitely remembers. No, we probably wouldn't, Michael. And there's Chris Middleton to 135. Now, wasn't BJ Armstrong late not 90s? Early two thousand. No, yeah, maybe that. Does, maybe that's not in not in your NBA wheelhouse, Marty. You should rediscover the hoops. All right, there's up and coming autograph fifty one out of one ninety nine. Kevin Knox for Jeremy thirty three and the Knicks. There's Ricky Rubio to 135 for the Jazz. There are your next two autos right there. Nice. Next box. So I took a position on the Pelicans tonight. Did they win? Did they beat the Rockets? They, are, they were at home. They were underdogs. Home dogs? Let's look at my NBA scores here. No, they lost. They lost by four points. Of course. What about? What about the uh, the Wizards? Did they beat? Yeah, they did. Wizards won. The lizards, lizards, wizards beat the Hornets. What about, what about Marty's Atlanta Hawks? They beat the Cavs by three. That's a winner. What about the Knicks? I don't think the Knicks beat the. No, the Knicks got destroyed. That was a long shot. What about Denver? Nuggets are in prog in progress. Eighty five sixty nine. And I took a position uh, on uh, the Trailblazers as well. It's only 32-27, just second quarter just starting. Wow, Kemba Walker at 47 points tonight? I did not, Marty. I already took. Uh, I already had a small financial investment on the, uh, the University of Oklahoma, Oklahoma University. The return on investment may not be. 
may not be very strong there. Looks like a looks like a looks like a loss on the day. Wait, how did Kemba have have forty seven and still lose? What happened in this game, Ken? All right, next two autographs, some parallels maybe. Next autograph is, bam, Mo Bamba. 14 out of 65 for the Orlando Magic EA Sports. It's in the game. Nice. Playoff ticket, 14 out of 65. That is strong. Right there, excellent. Because everyone else is mediocre. How long is Kemba signed? I feel like they're kind of, you know, you got, you got to start building around Kemba Walker. He's starting to flourish. Every year he's getting better and better. And now he's just starting to, this year he's just starting to score bucket loads of points. Oh, almost passed by Keita Bates Diop. 65, that goes to the Mavs. T sorry, Timberwolves. That goes to Wolf. And the Wolves, and the T Wolves. Last year of his deal, are you guys going to be able to keep him? Tra are, there, are there trade talks? Come on, Jordan, spend some money. Open the open the wallet. There's Westbrook to ninety nine. Next box. Joey. Joey Saldana back in the action. He's saying, Glad Christmas is over so you can get back to Jaspi Breaks. Welcome back. Good to see you. Let's, let's let's look at this Charlotte game here. Well, they got close, ah, but the, the Wizards are without John Wall. Remember how funny it would be if, if they were just playing if they played better without John Wall. It happened at some point last year too. All right, Nicola Batum, you gotta if you're playing 36 minutes, you gotta get more than eight points. Cody Zeller played like nine less minutes and had eight points. I mean, on paper, looks like a decent, looks like a decent team. What's going on with the, what's going on with Frank Kaminsky? Isn't, isn't Kaminsky supposed to be getting some action in there? He, he, he was a DNP, was he injured? Oh, Frank the Clank. Frank the Tank turned into Frank the Clank. All right, meanwhile, the Wizards look like a well-balanced team. There's, what, three guys with at least 20 points and then Bradley Beal with 19. Any guesses on that redemption? There's Steph Curry to one nine. Marty, you must know who Steph Curry is. Uh, Jay, I, I actually don't know how many bounties we knocked out. I have to kind of double check. I have to double check our list after this break is over. Or maybe while I'm opening packs, I can take a sneak peek. We've got another Timberwolf up and coming autograph, Josh Kogi. That's uh, out of 199. That'll be for uh, Wolf with the Wolves. T Wolves. 
Any guesses on that redemption? Could be a legendary contender. Could be one of the big rookies. Who knows? There's Pal Gasol to 99. Some of these are autographed too, these chrome versions of these cards. So this Chris Paul will ship because it's considered an insert. It's Chandler Hutchinson, who I believe is a bull. Premium edition as well. Chandler Hutch. Inson is a Chicago Bull EA with that one. Nice. Wes, now you know what? I don't watch enough uh, of the U I don't mind the UFC, but I don't follow it too closely. I didn't even know there was a, a fight tonight. Wasn't there a fight that was moved because of some issue? Is it here in LA, I think? I heard something that maybe the fight was moved to LA for some reason. Tonight is in LA. Where? Should we go to the fight, you guys? Should I just take my take the camera? A live stream all the way to the fight? Get our, get get some tickets, stub up some tickets. Go inside, break the rest of these boxes there. I'll mark all the boxes. Go go to the fight and break from there. Like, what does what does this guy do? He's not even paying attention to the fight. John Jones tested positive again, but still fighting. Oh, is that why they moved it? Isn't John? Jo I think I feel like I could take John Jones, right? You guys, no? I remember doing I, I remember doing a UFC break. This is like years ago. We should get some more UFC. I remember doing this UFC break, and I was like, who's this guy? This guy's only like five foot four and 120 pounds. I could take him. No, he's six four. Who's that? There's like a small guy. <laughs> and everyone's, oh, I feel a plate. A printing plate, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. And they're like, Joe, you're crazy. That guy will destroy you. I, well, we watched some videos, but I don't know. I pulled his autograph, and I was like, I, I can take this guy. Because there were stats on the back. It is autographed. Wow. It's Jalen Brunson for the Mavs. On plate autograph. Love the on plates. And that is Andrew Hodge with the Dallas Mavericks. Mavs strong. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There you go, Andrew Hodge. Nice. Right, set that there. Keep track of the two autos here. Wait, so where's the fight in LA? Wes definitely wants me to go and do the rest of this break out there. There's Kristaps Porzingis. Ooh, Oklahoma touchdown. And legendary contenders. 196 out of 199. I don't remember Alvin Alvin Adams of the Suns. I remember like Tom Chambers. And that is for Rick Barker and the Suns. Rick Barker, do you remember Alvin Adams? He's a legendary contender. I know, right? If that was a Luca, be one of the biggest hits out of the product. There's Serge Ibaka to 99. Miles Turner. Pacers have quietly been playing well. It's the Forum. We're right near the Forum. Wes, it's right up the freeway. Well, TJ, Kyler Murray just launched a rocket, a bomb, about 40 yards. Right in the bread basket to number 14, whoever that is, for the touchdown. And Alabama is still holding at 31 points, TJ. It's 31 21. Come 
Kyler Murray's happy. Yeah. All right, next box. Rick Parker does not remember that legendary contender. We always thought about traveling. Uh, you know, I we could tra technically could travel, do a little uh, whistle stop tour. Or sorry, thirty-one twenty is the score. But three minutes left in the third quarter, and then another quarter after that. I mean, I'll have to admit, while while Alabama has kind of scored at will, seemingly. Oklahoma's been playing tough. They, they, I, don't, I don't see any signs of, of, of giving up. Like Notre Dame, you kind of saw them dog it in like the third, third, fourth quarter and stuff. They just let that game go. Once Clemson ran away with it, I feel like Notre Dame looked like there were, there were some sagging shoulders, some, some, some heads hanging. You know, even on like big plays, Notre Dame wasn't really, the team wasn't really cheering or anything like that. Oklahoma still has a little swag to them because... On like a sack or two, they were they were down by like 20, 20 some odd points, and yet after a big, you know, defensive play, you still see the cornerbacks still ho hooping and hollering like they just made the game winning tackle. But so I feel like they're they're still feeling confident. They're not Oklahoma's not giving up. More sons. How about this guy, Rick Barker? Have you heard of this guy? DeAndre Ayton, playoff ticket autograph right on the cards. 34 out of 65, the man that Rick's been looking for. Would love to do that Bowman Mixer, Rick Schmidt. Nice. There he is. Suns could have a pretty scary team if they put it all together. There's Goran Dragic to 135. Oh, Leaf Best of Football also close. Says, oh, I just I had, to, I had to read up the chat. Best of Football is down to seven. Nice. Well, the promo is full, ladies and gentlemen. So we've done it. But each additional break we fill after the original six, right, because Prime Cuts is next. Um, each additional break after the, after the first six will add 20 additional dollars per break to the list of, of, uh, of bounties. So far we've hit two. I've got to double check the stats after the box score after this break. It's Kevin Hervey, rookie ticket autograph for OKC. Michael Losey with that one. So we'll, we'll double check those and see what additional bounties we've hit. Remember, only the breaks that fill are eligible for the break credit. So you have to be part of a break that fills by 10.30 Pacific, which should be, the game should be well over by then, but you have until 10.30 Pacific to keep adding to it. Playoff ticket, Anthony Davis to 199. Does he end up on the Lakers? Will they have to trade this guy to get Anthony Davis? Maybe. DeAndre Jordan. This is a kind of a ball game here in this Orange Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. If if Oklahoma, I mean, Alabama's driving. I, I, they're they they are the better team, but I don't know. Oklahoma could make it exciting if if they can if they can get a little lucky, maybe get a, a turnover here and there, and turn that turnover into points. It might start getting very interesting. All right. 
Good luck, boys and girls. Next box. And the next autograph, Michael Porter Jr., the MPJ. Rookie ticket out. I don't... That logo is all in black right there. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the Nuggets logo right there. Nice. That goes to D-Mac, Darren McKenzie. I feel like D-Mac, you've been on a nice little streak this week. Some nice hits. And we've got Anthony Davis. One out of 25. I, I really like this insert set here. Playing the numbers game. I like it. We'll have all those sleeved and top loaded before they get shipped out, of course. And the next auto is right here. It's Pistons. It's Kyrie Thomas. Rookie ticket autograph for Motor City. Robert Aguilar on the board. So there are your two autographs. Let's see if we can find some uh, low numbered parallels here. Playoff ticket, John Collins. I want to see some of these are autographed too. These chrome cards. It's like that Donner's Optic Hybrid product. I wonder if they're hinting at that. The football version is really cool. Donner's Optic Football. Contenders Optic Football, that is. It's a Contenders Plus Optic Hybrid product. What you doing for basketball? There's Mike Connolly out of 99. We pulled this one of one the other day. That goes to Jeremy Merle. One of one base card. Nice. Stephen K reporting that Leaf is down to four. Excellent. Yeah, that should break pretty soon. And that'll add another $20 to the uh, break credit promo. All right, next box. Everyone see this uh, Macaulay Culkin commercial that Google did? I thought it was really good. Hey, Drift is in the house. He's saying it's down to two. <laughs> Marty's reminding us that Dynasty Baseball is down to four. We should, we really should do that, ladies and gentlemen. I know, it, I know it's kind of pricey, but that's a, that's a scared might don't make money. Definitely a high-end scared might don't make money break. Now, Marty L. wasn't scared. He is, he's the one that got it down from five to four. But we need four more high rollers to treat themselves in this holiday season. Treat themselves to a potentially monster hit. You're guaranteed the hit. Just a random box. Finish this one off, ladies and gentlemen. Legendary contenders for the Milwaukee Bucks, 006 out of 199. Marquise Johnson. That'll be for Milwaukee. That goes to Ed Ram, Ed Ramos. Then there's the die cut, James Harden. Mike Tower saying there are optic preview cards in contenders. They're non-autos. And they have the contenders optic logo. Oh, so not like this? Because they have the chrome versions now too. I didn't realize they had those inserts. Anyway, they should make they should make that product. There's Lori Markinen. And nice, Marvin Bagley, the third up and coming autograph for TC and the Kings. That is 178 out of 199. Nice. Your third or fourth overall pick. Solid break so far, ladies and gentlemen. We've got more contenders in the store. 
Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Ricky Rubio to 199. It's kind of weird because, like, college football's almost done. You know, the NFL season is getting to the playoffs. That's winding down. Sure, spring training is about to start, but it's a good time to get into to get into some hoops. Next one. Two more autographs in this box. Good luck, everybody. So, after this break, we'll, we will have we will have um, prime cuts happening. That's a pretty quick break. And after prime cuts, we'll dive right into the Leaf Best of uh, Football break. That's also a very quick one. Twenty-five out of twenty-five. Nice low number. Up and coming autograph. Michael Porter Jr. Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets up one hundred nine ninety-six on the Suns in Phoenix. Four thirty-six left in the fourth quarter. How is Michael Porter Jr. doing? I don't think he's even playing. Where is he? Is he injured? There's Kevin Love to 199. Now, the Leaf Best of Football break is also pretty quick. So we'll be ready for yet another break before you know it. He's injured, says Ken. All right. Nuggets playing good basketball. There's up and coming Javon Carter, 20 out of 25. Another lower number there. Grizz. Jeremy Merle with the Memphis Grizzlies. Another die cut. Is that a, another James Harden die cut? I think so. There's Yusef Nurkic to 135, Trailblazers. Jerry Bennington with the Trailblazers. Who are trailing the Golden State Warriors, 58-44. Three boxes to go. Three boxes go. This one and the two in the back. Good luck, everyone. This is pick your team number three, 18, 19, Panini Contenders Basketball. Check it out. Some very solid hoops action happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Get into it. Get it going.
There's Hamadou Diallo out of 199. Playing some solid basketball for the Thunder. That goes to Mike Losey. Almost had a almost had a big season ending injury, but it turned out to look worse than it actually was. There's a nice gold right here, Tobias Harris. That's pretty cool. Out of ten. That's for the Clippers. That'll go to TC. Last spot mojo. Tobias Harris. Clippers also playing good basketball. Now that Doc Rivers isn't really like GM and coach anymore, it seems like he seems like once he focuses on one thing. Make it work. There's Nikola Jokic. And we have Mo Wagner. Nice. Right on that chrome. Right there. Not numbered. There it is. He's got to work on that autograph, though. I You can kind of see what he's trying to do. He's like, oh, I can melt the M, and I can melt it with the uh, W right there, but that's not working, Mo. If you want to be a star in this town, you got to have a better autograph than that. You can even just throw a, throw, throw a G in there. I think that, that would, uh, that'd be better. You got the M, wag, got, pop in a G there. That'll work. You don't sign. He, I mean, this guy doesn't sign contracts like that, does he? He knocked out a. Do one of those. Drop a G in there. Lakers. Lou with the Lakers. We really like him out here, though. Looks to be pretty solid. A little raw, but I think he'll get there. There's Kemba Walker to 199. Dropped 47 today. There's Marcus Saul. Jeremy S., what's going on? Good evening. Happy New Year to you, too. And there you go, two boxes to go. Kyler Murray took a hit. Helmet knocked off. Is he okay? All right. Uh, Jay saying this is a Bowman draft length break. No, false. This break will be done in about, it's about 10 minutes shorter than Bowman draft. Porzingis again. Remember when, I think it was J.R. Smith. Remember when J.R. Smith, did he throw soup at a at a, an assistant coach? Or was that was that another Cav? And there is Zaire Smith, Sixers. It goes to Randy Starr. Uh, no, you did not. Let me drop a schedule. For those of you just joining us, into the chat.
update the times here, actually. We're, we're, we're actually a little bit ahead of schedule from my, from my original schedule that I dropped. All right, there you go. So right now we're just finishing up the last couple boxes of Contenders. Pick your team three. Then we will do Prime Cuts. Then we'll knock out Leaf Best of Football. And then right around 9 o'clock Pacific, we should be ready for, uh, for another break, whatever that may be. Wow. MVP contenders autograph Steph Curry. Ooh. Who got the wa Mark Matheson. Warriors come out to play. Yay. Nice. Mark has the Golden State Warriors. See, Mark, we, we finally filled it. Boom. Big hit. Not Seth Curry, Steph Curry, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. All right. Steph Curry doesn't sign very often, so you should redeem it. You should get the card in hand, and it would probably, might be even worth grading, maybe. Anyhow, that's a nice hit. <laughs> that helped, helped cover that Yankee spot. All right, good luck, everyone. Last two autographs. Got a printing plate in here. Some nice autos. Another redemption. Use of Nurkic to 199. We've got Troy Brown Jr., rookie ticket autograph. He's been getting some minutes here and there. Patrick K., you're a wizard, Patrick. There's Lori Markin in to 199. And Donovan Mitchell in the back there. And there you have it, folks. Oh, well, we should find out who this is, right? It's, bam, Kevin Huter. And that is for Jeremy Merle and the Atlanta Hawks. That's a printing plate autograph. Kevin Huter's actually been playing decently for the Atlanta Hawks. Look at that. That'll probably be an on plate as well. So we're closing out with a train whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone can do it. If you're at home, if you want to wake up the neighborhood. Jeremy Merle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That's the way to end it. That was Contenders Pick Your Team 3. We've got more in the store. Check it out, and we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.